in advocating for the safeguarding of our election system's integrity. Mike Johnson underscores the necessity of implementing citizenship verification for voting eligibility. You need to understand something really important about federal law. Since 1993, the, the, the National Voter Registration Act, we call it the, the Motor Voter Law, allows people to sign up to vote when they get a driver's license. Uh, if an individual only asserts or simply states that they are a citizen, they don't have to prove it. They can register that person to vote in a federal election. And you see, states are currently prohibited. Believe it or not, the states are prohibited from asking someone to prove that they're a citizen. It, it, the, the federal voter registration form just has a check a box. And if you do that, you're good. The states can't allow it. Well, we think that's a serious problem. And so what we're going to do is the House Republicans are introducing a bill that will require proof of citizenship to vote. It, it seems like common sense. I'm sure all of us would agree. We only want U.S. citizens to vote in U.S. elections. Such measures stand as a bulwark against electoral malfeasance, ensuring the credibility of the democratic process in the United States. I align with Johnson's assertion that mandating proof of citizenship represents a pragmatic step towards securing the sanctity of our electoral system, balancing the scales between individual liberties and communal welfare. The guardianship of election integrity becomes a shared duty. The ripple effects of fortifying voter verification resonate deeply, influencing public consciousness and fostering faith in democratic norms. Mandating citizenship verification not only enhances transparency and accountability, but also cultivates a climate of confidence in our electoral mechanisms.